Okay, I want to give you a close up look at this print cut. So I'm going to first show you in real time. This is registering. It is actually on my Cameo 4, but it works the same on every single Silhouette machine. So it's registering the top square, and then it comes and it reads the L brackets. It's really hard to watch because it goes super fast, but then I have slowed this down into a um, slow speed that we can watch it go. So it's going to find that top square. You can see the red light turn on. This is something that's very difficult to get on camera. It's going to read the size of that registration square. It comes down and it reads the bottom bracket and then it reads the left bracket. And then it's gonna go up and it's gonna do the same thing in the top right corner. This is why it's so important that if you decrease the size of your registration marks, it makes it harder for the machine to find those because they're so small. Now let's take another look at this slow motion video. So it is looking for those black marks in a very specific area and it's measuring those marks. So if you decrease those registration marks or your design is within that cross hatched area that's the safety zone of the print and cut, the machine can have a hard time finding those marks accurately. I see a lot of users with super tiny, tiny registration marks and that can cause issues when it's reading. I hope this helps to give you an inside look at how those registration marks actually work. Making them smaller makes it more difficult for the machine to get an accurate read on those marks. It might work once, it might work twice, but then you may end up having issues or off cuts after that. I want you to have the best success with your print and cut. If you're having issues or are a beginner, start with those defaults and do a test print.